Hey guys, today we are going to solve this problem statement capacity to ship packages within D days. So we have given a conveyor belt that uh, has packages that must be shipped from one port to another port within day given days. The ith package on the conveyor belt has a weight of weight i and each day we load ship with packages on conveyor belt in the order given by the weights. So we need to focus on this part also in the order given by weights. We may not load more weight than the maximum capacity of the ship. We have to return the least weight capacity of the ship that will result in all packages on the conveyor belt being shipped within given days. Okay, so uh, we are going to focus on the approach and because why i have taken this problem statement because there are a lot of problem statement that are similar uh, similar this kind of uh, and the approach will be applicable to those problem statement also okay now the fo let's focus on uh, what we have given weights and days are given and we have to find the least weight capacity of the ship okay let's check the constraint so weight can be maximum 500 and days can be 1 to 5 into 10 to the power 4 and weights length can be uh, 5 into 10, uh, maximum 5 into 10 to the power 4 so if you focus so uh, what will be the nave approach nave approach will be uh, first we will uh, try with the capacity of weight capacity of 1 uh, if uh, then we will figure it out uh, how many days it will take with the weight uh, ship uh, with the weight capacity of one. Uh, if it is not possible to deliver uh, within uh, given days, then we will increase the weight uh, ship capacity by uh, by one. We will jump to two, three, four, five till uh, we are not going. Uh, uh, we are not getting this answer whether this uh, 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 chosen uh, uh, capacity of a uh, ship that is giving uh, answer for us or not. So, uh, but this, if you focus on this part, so obviously what will the time complexity? Because he, here, you, this is a linear approach. You are going from ship capacity of 1, 2, 3, 4, till, uh, till that uh, time you are not getting the answer. So that will be linear time uh, for that and into and for each capacity you are uh, iterating all the weights uh, length. So it will be suppose uh, uh, weight uh, the answer is uh, uh, something x. So x into uh, weight of length. So that will be m much more than uh, 10 to the power 8. It can go uh, above 10 to the power 8. So obviously most of the uh, to run in within a second. So you will have to optimize it uh, under 10 to, uh, 10 to the power 7 around uh, or much better than this. So if we focus on this part, uh, if we are going to choose uh, uh, choose the binary approach, so we can take a, a minimum capacity weight capacity of one and the highest or zero and the highest uh, some infinite value, and then we will check for mid. If it is possible, then we will uh, decrease our uh, uh, decrease our uh, capacity and then we will check uh, further this answer so let's uh, try how that can be done so suppose uh, so this is same thing so if uh, your ship capacity so here we will take low and high initially we are going to take zero here it will be infinite value and uh, now we are going to find the mid value okay here it is low high okay what will happen for mid if there can be three cases uh, first uh, uh, 
देर कैन बी टू केसेस यू दिस बाय दिस मिड कैपेसिटी यू विल एबल टू डिलीवर द शिप डू द शिपमेंट विद इन डी डेज ओके पॉसिबल फर्स्ट इज पॉसिबल टू डिलीवर विद इन डी डेज अनदर वन कुड बी so another one could be a year uh, not possible okay not possible case so if it is possible then you will take this mid capacity as a answer and uh, you will update your high to mid minus 1 okay and the answer uh, answer you always take minimum of uh, uh, this answer and mid okay and if it is not possible then obviously you will have to increase the lower side then you will have to update the lower side to mid plus 1 okay this is the straight forward and there will be a, a, a one auxiliary function or helper function you can say is possible with this uh, is possible okay which uh, what it will do it will take the capacity whatever capacity you are uh, checking capacity for a, uh, and your weights okay and there will be other thing uh, there is one more parameter will be the given days okay so what it will return it will return is it possible with this capacity uh, and these are the given weights and the, this is the given uh, days so is it possible to deliver within a uh, uh, these days with this capacity it will return true or false so here now our approach uh, will take log and uh, sorry log of this uh, high high value uh, into you are iterating through the array weight weight length so that will be your time complexity so i have already written the code so let's uh, go through that one so yeah so here i have already wrote so here uh, this is uh, our function ship within uh, days so we have given the weight and we have given the days so first we are uh, taking the uh, total weight so because that can be the maximum uh, a total weight of all the uh, packages and uh, maximum that uh, that capacity is possible uh for our ship okay so lowest we, uh, value we will taking uh, we are taking zero and the highest value we are taking the total uh, weight of all the packages that can be the maximum ca capacity of a ship possible and we have given the days and weight so we are going uh, we are getting this uh, on this function we have uh, what we are doing Uh, same thing low high we have put uh, the condition uh, less than equal to high low uh, and we are getting the mid and then we are uh, calling our helper function is possible to ship with this capacity these uh, given days and these weights if it is possible then we are updating our answer answer is uh, min of answer and mid uh, and then we are updating the high value mid minus 1 and low value to mid plus 1 and then finally we are returning the answer so here what we are doing in is possible to ship but uh, so basically uh, we are checking if any of the weight have capacity greater than uh, any of the weight have capacity more than this uh, given uh, capacity so we are returning false so how many uh, then we are calculating the total days uh, we required 
so after that the current weight we are taking and we are iterating through the weights in the uh, same order zero index to last index so uh, we are updating current weight uh, and adding the weight uh, value if capacity is greater than this then we are increasing the total number of days required and then we are updating a uh, current weight with the this current one if uh, current weight is a uh, finally after doing uh, this iteration if current weight is still uh, greater than zero then we will add uh, one more day uh, to uh, for shipment and then finally we are checking if days given days is greater than equal to a total uh, or you can say total uh, days required is less than equal to days then it is possible to ship as it is not possible to ship okay so uh, this question will be based uh, for a lot of other questions also so that will be helpful uh, how we can use the binary search and uh, with the arrays also arrays capacity or uh, these systems yeah so thanks uh, thanks guys i hope uh, this will help help you in your interviews also